Everybody keeps asking us the same questions. Ross, Heather, what do we do to upgrade our batteries in our RV? What do we upgrade to? What kind of batteries? Personally, if you're just an RVer, when you're going to go out on the weekend, get away, I would probably just stick with lead-acid batteries, just regular old batteries. Deep cycle, though. Most RVs have the 12-volt house battery for your house battery. 12-volt. Throw it away garbage. Get the 6-volt golf cart battery. Put two 6-volts together. you got to buy them in pairs, so you got to buy them 6-volt, six 6-volt. Six buy two. I'll show you. Now you can see how I have them. I have took the 12 volt out and I bought two 6 volts. First of all, these are about 120 bucks. You can get them pretty cheap, pretty inexpensive. You get two of them, you pair them together, you hook them up in series, negative to positive, positive to negative. Now you have a huge battery bank. You can get like, these are like 200 amp hours, a piece 224. You get like, uh, you can only use a certain percentage of amp hours. You can't run them down too low on lead acid. But if you're just a weekend getawayer and you want more battery power, Get two 6 volts, throw away your 12 volt battery, get the two 6 volts, put them in series when you connect them together and you'll be a happy camper. Now you're talking about an upgrade that really doesn't cost that much money for a huge improvement. You really can get like three times out of your batteries going to 6 volt, three times, two to three times the power, um, the amper hours, the time using the battery, batteries. Now they're going to be a lot heavier, but what I like about 6 volt batteries is they're tall and skinny. They're not fat and short, so usually you can fit them anywhere. I had a Class A, and I actually used the same batteries in Harvey to Class A. The same 6-volt batteries fit in the tray better than the 12-volts did. Usually, if you only have one 12-volt battery, you can squish two 6-volts in that same spot, kind of. Depends on your setup. Fifth wheels are pretty easy. they got a lot of space. Uh, Class A's, you can still usually fit them pretty good. Even if you had to expand the tray a little bit, you're not going to have to make it too much bigger because they're tall and skinny. That's why I like the 6-volts. And you can get them anywhere. You can go to like BJ's. Uh, Sam's Club, um, Costco, and you can get these batteries. You bring your old junky 12 volts back, right? Even if it comes with a brand new fifth with a 12 volt, I took it right out of here. That's just a marine starter slash deep cycle battery. It's garbage. I took that out brand new, traded it with someone for another battery from my old RV. But anyways, it's a long story. Get the six volt batteries. They're cheap. You can actually get them at Royal King. They're a little bit cheaper brand, but I've seen them as low as 50 bucks a battery. So if you put two 6 volts together, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck. And if you're just a weekend warrior and you want to do this, this most people are, you know, weekend warriors and they just want to go back and forth for a vacation. And, they, you know, they're going to be off grid for a little while, even one night. This is the way to go, guys. Put your refrigerator on gas, your refrigerator. Get your 6 volt batteries. They're fairly inexpensive. And you, so what? If you run them down too low, they only last a couple years. It's still worth it because you only pay like 100 bucks a piece or 120 bucks a piece. So get two of them. You have to get these in pairs because they're six volt. Okay, six volt. You have to get in pairs. So if you want four, you got to get. Or if you want, if you want three batteries, you want to go to three. You have to get four. You can't get three because you got to get them in twos, pairs, two, four. Because you're going to tie them together. This is the way you got to do it with six volt because it's got to equal 12 volt. So I hope this helps you out, guys, this tip. Get rid of your 12-volt garbage battery. I wouldn't go to lithium if you're a weekend warrior. Don't get the lithium batteries because everything needs to be changed, and it costs a fortune. It's like $800 a battery. It's not worth it. Get the cheapies still. Why they're, while they're going cheap, because everything's going to lithium, take advantage of the lead acid. Just get the true deep cycle lead acid batteries for the golf carts. Put them in a 6-volt. Tie them together as pairs. Two. Got to buy two at once, and you'll be a happy camper. Trust me. See you guys. Like us and share us. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.